session, we will discuss about file accessing methods. So totally we have three different varieties of file accessing methods. One is sequential, ac uh, sequential accessing, second one is random accessing, third one is, uh, third one is sequential, sequential accessing. Index is sequential accessing. Hi everyone, in this session we will discuss about file accessing methods. In this session we will discuss about file accessing methods. So, totally we have three different varieties of file accessing methods. They are, first one is sequential file accessing, second one is random accessing, third one is indexed sequential accessing. So, totally three different uh, file accessing methods are there. We will discuss them each in detail. So coming to the first one, it is nothing but sequential accessing. So what do you mean by sequential accessing? Let us suppose if this is a file. Okay, if this is a file, the process of accessing the records sequentially, one after the other. First this one, next to this, next to this, like that. The process of accessing the records sequentially, one after the other, is simply termed as sequential accessing. The best example for sequential accessing is taking attendance in a class. So in a class, uh, the teacher will take the attendance starting from row number 1, row number 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on in a sequential way. They don't take the attendance like uh, row number 1, row number 10, row number 25, row number 35, like that they will not take. They, <coughs> they will take the attendance in a sequential way, one after the other, like that. Sequential accessing is nothing but accessing the records in a file sequentially, one after the other. Okay, so like this, let us suppose this is a file like this, uh, we simply call it as uh, the process of accessing in this way is simply termed as sequential accessing. So here uh, we will perform some read operation and write operation. Okay, so if you see that this is the current position, let us suppose if you see this as the current position, okay. So, read next, read next means read the next portion. Suppose if this is the current position, if you perform this read next means it will start reading from here, from here. Okay, right? If now if this will become the current position, if this is the current position, if you perform read next, now from here it will start reading. Okay, that is read next. Write next means, okay, so it will write at the end of the file. So if this is the file, it will start writing here. At the end of the file, it will start reading. Okay. So rewind means how many number of blocks? See, rewind how many number of blocks? Suppose if this is the current position, rewind suppose ten blocks. So we'll we'll go here. Let us suppose these are ten blocks. Okay. We'll rewind ten blocks. Okay. Skip and records means we will skip that n number of records. So current position is here. If we if it performs skip n records, we will skip n records, and from there we will start reading. Okay. So this is about the sequential accessing. Sequential accessing. The process of accessing the records one by one, one after the other in a sequential way is called as sequential accessing. Okay. Next we will go for direct accessing. Direct accessing. So in direct accessing, what we do is, in direct accessing, so for example, suppose if there is a name and ID, suppose if we have Anil, Final One, Arun, Final Three, for randomly, if you take like this, okay. So if we have name, experience, salary. Suppose if we have Arun, in the experience. 11 years salary 75,000. Okay, suppose, suppose 
direct taxing is nothing but so we don't go sequential. So we will uh, suppose if you want if you want Arun, okay, his ID is five zero three. So straight away we will access to Arun. We will straight away access that record. It is just like simply asking the questions in a class. A teacher while asking the questions, they don't ask sequentially, randomly. Okay. Direct accessing can also be called as random accessing memory. Random. Random accessing memory. Randomly they will ask. Yes, number 10. Number 15. Number 25. Who, whomever they want. Whomever they think that they are in inactive mode. Or whomever they want to ask. That particular person they will ask. That is random. That is direct accessing. Okay. So here see. This is the best example. So let us suppose here we have a number of records. Name and ID. Suppose if you want to access the record related to Arun. So straight away you can go and access. Here we have number of records consisting of name, experience and salary. Okay. A table consisting of name, experience and salary. So for, for example sake we have taken. Here also we can include number of things. Then date of joining, then date of birth like that. Number of things. So straight away you can access that. Okay. So read young. Okay. Whatever the young may be. Suppose if young is Arun. Okay, read Arun. So, study we will read that Arun, that record. Suppose, uh, write. So, in that particular uh, location, we can study the right, perform right operation. Jump to a record M. If you want to jump to some other record, we'll, we can jump to that record. So, this is about direct accessing. Next, we have index sequential accessing method. So, here, index sequential accessing method. So, it is just like our uh, textbook. At the end of our uh, textbook, we will have some record. I mean, at the end of our textbook, no? what we will have? We will have the index. We will have the topic name. We will have the topic name. And the page number. Page number will be mentioned here. Topic name. Page number. Let us suppose topic 1. Topic 1. Here is nothing but topic name. So it is page number John 01. Next topic 2, 104. Topic 3, 106. Topic 4, 112. Like that. So index is sequential. So we will go to the topic name. Suppose if you want a topic like uh, deadlock. Deadlock. It is available in 156. Next. Synchronization. So synchronization. This topic is in 148. Uh, we write 168. So we'll see. If you want to access deadlock, so index sequential accessing. So index we will check. So if you want to know the information regarding deadlock, yes, it is in 156. We will go to 156 page and we will access that. So that's what it has specified. Key pointer, there will be some where k1, k2 are nothing but key values. Okay, so study we will go to that uh, and we will access the record information on data. Okay, in index uh, sequential accessing method. So, with this, we will uh, wind up our file accessing methods. Okay, thank you.